Terry's, Tito and Terry's JYD. Great, great hand. And Dory's a good hand, but not like Terry. Terry's something special in the ring. Mm -hmm. The bumps he takes and all, in my opinion. That could be. Um, did Vince get the most out of them that he could have? I don't know. Dory didn't have a good look, I didn't think. No. Certainly not for the guys that he was surrounded by at this time. It's so time. crazy. I remember Buddy Landell, they were working on an independent show, and they were like 16th match on a 16 match card. And Buddy's. But did Buddy Landell die? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice guy. And Buddy said, Dory said he wants to put in some time. They're in the 16th match of a 16 match card. And that's a guy that. Is little to me. Just you want to put in some time. Why? Because you want to see people work, perform. You know, you're not Roger Federer. You know, gonna blow him away with an overhand top spin, and you know what I mean. It's professional wrestling, brother. I'm ready to get to the main event. I can't wait no more. There's, there are no matches but the main event. Okay, well let's talk right about now. that. Uh, I've been waiting for this. What are your pre-match preparations? Hindu Just squats. Ready. What Hindu are we squat. Make sure I was nice and loose. Loose and extra good because it was a big match. I don't, think, I don't know if I take my wrist. I can't remember. You did because that's where you hid your gig. Jesus Christ. Now, a jabroni like that. Back in my day, I would have slapped you right across the face for that. Mm. You did. Do, do, you, do you believe me? If you doubt me. You, you did. Don't put me to the test. You did. You're right. That is where I put my blade. Um, I, didn't get a, I didn't do a very good job, though. I've gotten better. I got a blade job one time where I hit this artery here, and the blood would have hit your shirt. It was a good 18 There's inches. There's an art to that. and There is. And like, like I said, I don't have the much experience. So, Who yeah. taught you? Uh, Honky Tonk Man instructed me in my first one, which was I missed. Another guy who actually didn't blade very much himself through his no, career. No, not a lot. Yeah. Um, but he knew how to do it. So uh, you said that, uh, that they didn't want Hogan to blade because... No, that's why. I mean, the, I, that I final shot, that glory shot. I didn't shot do a very good job. Why do you say that, though? Because it there wasn't, wasn't enough? Yeah, it wasn't, much, it wasn't much of a blade job. Did anyone say that to you? You didn't do a good job, or are you just being critical of yourself? Well, if I had seen somebody, what I did, nobody said nothing. Nah, okay. Man, nah, nah. But I would have said it looked like you took an old tampon and <laughs> deuced it across your forehead. That's what I'd say to a guy with a blade job like that. Do you discuss anything with Hulk before going out? Very little, very little. Okay. It was just, you know, back and forth. It wasn't, you know, and it wasn't going to be a long match, you know. He explained to me about getting the color and, you know. Oh, he's but the I, one that told you to, to blade? No, no, I knew I was. But he explained to me why he wasn't. Oh. Vincent. But I'm telling you, every other time, just almost every other time I worked with him, he said, you want me to get a little color for you? And yeah. I, I never said that. I have a stupid question. Sure. Um, because I'm not a worker. There's no such thing. You, it's the only stupid answer. I know you can't tell from the physique, but I've never worked in the ring. Um, you kidding with that goiter? I don't think you're a top athlete. You, <laughs> yeah, you got a nice little roll there, son. That's my cock. What are you talking about? It's, your, no, it's, it's, it's wrapped it around your waist. waist. Exactly. Um, I'm having a contest with Virgil later. Uh, do you? You didn't know you're gonna. You don't know you're gonna blade until you're told when you get to an arena. Are you always carrying razor blades? No, hell no. I knew that night I was going to blade. Forget that. Random night at Madison Square Garden. Someone says, yeah, hey, I want you to get a little color. You have blades on you? Yeah, I usually had blades. Really? Well, I'm, I remember times I had to ask for one, but somebody had blades. Yeah. Okay. You don't need, you only need a little point. Right. You just go. But like I said, I hit that one time. One time I banged into the cage, and it was just blood. It, this was a different time. Uh -huh. And it was sweat. Kevin Von Erich says, don't get any more juice. And I'm like covered. I can't even see. And I like, don't worry, Kev. I'm not going to go to the blade. Well, that's true. How, how do you this. see when you're? You eyes don't are when you do like that. Oof. When I did that one, I was scared because I hit that artery. It was going out 18 inches. I was scared. You get stitched? I didn't even know. Nope. Really? Didn't get stitched. Um, based on the fact that you'd had some previous matches with Hogan, was there a discussion to make this one look completely different or don't do what we did in Boston? Not really. We had a set match that we did for the other one, so this was different than that okay. we're going to do. I think I jumped him at the start. We didn't usually do it like that. We usually had it. I can't remember what we usually did. But it usually wound up with him going to slam me and falling back, boom, and then selling that. I get some heat on, grab him in a fresh slide, maybe try and do a spot out of that. Uh, but it was different than the regular match we did. But that was the great thing about the territories. I mean, you could do the same match right, yeah. everywhere. Right. I mean, not the territories, I mean, about working for Vince. 
because you're in Pittsburgh one night and you're in Oakland the next. Right. But, but I mean, once, once they're televised, that's the end of that. I mean, when you had the house shows, you had the, the privacy of the house shows right. to do it all the time, yeah. Um, who's in gorilla position in Los Angeles? Do you remember? Jeez, I can't remember. Was there even a gorilla position? That gorilla position, that was an, I don't remember that. Like, I don't remember back in Poughkeepsie and Brantford, somebody being in the gorilla position. I don't remember that. Mm. I guess it was the same back then, but I just didn't. It wasn't but called it, the it, gorilla It was position, a big right? thing. Yeah, when I went back at night, it was called a big thing. Who's at the gorilla? Get to the gorilla position. You know, it was a big thing, the gorilla position. Later on, you're saying. Right. 90, but in not, the 90s, no. Okay. I don't remember like that. Uh, how was the crowd? Crowd was good, excellent crowd. Okay. I thought I thought them very you know, responsive too. Because sometimes you, for a big event like WrestleMania where tickets are won by people or maybe giveaways and stuff, maybe they're not as passionate a wrestling fan as yeah. the average house show. But not the case. I don't think they were as expensive then as they are now. Now they're just outrageous, aren't they? Yes. It's like now the WrestleMania is a thing. Right. Well, one of the criticisms yeah. I think the criticisms of the the Trump Plaza events were that. They were all like gamblers and comps and stuff, so everyone's kind of sat on their hands. That's what I hear sometimes. Oh, you don't want that. It might not be true. Talk to me about working with Bobby the Brain Heenan. Mm. You know what I loved about Bobby? No matter what kind of horrifying abortion you had in the ring, whenever you come back, you shake your hand and say, good match. Bobby had that old school mentality that if you went out there, you came back, you weren't hurt, nobody was hurt, everybody was fine, it was a good match. And usually we satisfied the people, you know. Was the switch from Jimmy Hart to uh, Heenan for this? Was it for? I don't know. WrestleMania? No, I just think, I don't think we could put me with Jimmy to begin yeah, with. I, I mean, I just thought that was a bad choice. And I like Jimmy. Oh, you know what he does? He got that, he's a nasty little ferret. I shared a room with him once, and he trims that mustache every day and oh. just leaves the... If, if I trim my mustache and there's hair all around the sink, you wipe it. I would, for the maid, I would wipe it. Let alone for the guy sharing a room with me. But does this nasty little ferret wipe it? No. Just leaves it there. I saw him, I said, you little asshole. So you roomed with him when one, you were... One time. Oh, just once? Yes. <clears throat> who'd, you, who'd you room with most of the time? I didn't room with anybody. I no. couldn't stand it. Oh, my God. Okay. The wrestlers. One time we were Cousin Luke. We were on an independent circuit. We go into this hotel. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. We came from a bar. Me and Gene are sharing a room. I don't know if it was paid for by the promoter or what. Jimmy snuck out. We leave each other in the party. He goes to his room. We get to our room. I just want to get in bed. Gene picks up the phone. Goes, Who are you calling, Gene? I'm going to call Jimmy and make sure he got to his room. Oh, okay. We saw Jimmy snuck 30 seconds ago, and you want to call him. You know, that's the kind of bullshit that wrestlers want to do. And then talk on the phone for a while. You know, it's just I had to stay alone is my point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, make weird. sure he made it to his room. Now, how ridiculous is that? Maybe he had the weed. No, Gene didn't want no weed. All right. Um, all right, let's talk about the infamous blue cage. I think this is the first time we've seen it, right? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Maybe because two behemoths? I don't know. It couldn't Easier that, to climb for Hulk? No chance probably. of Probably. Uh, what's it called, cage? I don't see how people climb that. I, I don't see how Cactus Jack climbs the hell in the cell. Oh, the fences, yeah. Yeah. Are mm. there holes in those fences? Well, no, he's it's a, a, fl it's a He's fence. a flabby bastard cactus. I mean, <laughs> and I like Mick Foley, but he is. I just can't imagine him pulling himself out. I think they got to gimmick him somehow. I, I don't know. So, don't but, know for the blue cage, they don't tell you. When no, you nobody, find out beforehand nobody, nobody that you're, about oh, it. this is not a steel cage. And that's a real cage. Yeah, just, I had worked in cages like that before. Prior to that, not yeah? In WWE. Okay. Yeah, I'd work for ones that weren't, you know, chain link. Um, when the match is over and you go through the curtain, who's there waiting for you? Does someone tell you? Like, is Hogan waiting? I can't, I can't no. tell you, Sean. 